23-year-old Pacers heading to the gate for the Standard Bread Breeders and Owners Association New Jersey Classic, the 25th anniversary. New Jersey sired three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers, the stakes record 150 Arts Conquest in 1999, Better's Delight 2001. The gate is moving for the seventh race, the New Jersey Classic Final. There are no changes, field of 10 lining up. This three-year-old open worth $500,000. The 2004 25th anniversary edition of the SBOA New Jersey Classic. Here they come. And they're off, and Spirit of a Shark is gunning out with Pacific uh, Renegade from between horses. There goes Jersey Made, a long shot here with Stefan Bouchard. And from the outside comes Times Are Changing. He is three wide. Yannick Jingra is gunning for the top here. Times Are Changing takes over. Modern Art guns the rail. Modern Art moves up second down and settles in as uh, Miller looks around there. Jersey Made is third. Three wide comes Spirit of a Shark now, surging up into fourth past the quarter. All My Life is fifth. Pacific Renegade is backing away in sixth, appears to be struggling. Three wide, Dr. Noah around him. Then it's Holborn, Hanover. I'm a fool is ninth at this point and three wide around a struggling Pacific Renegade. Then it's Keystone Endurance. The first quarter was 26 and four. Spirit of a Shark and Brennan look to take control. Spirit of a Shark now up front down the back stretch in the New Jersey Classic Final. Times are changing a second and uh, Miller has tons of pace with Modern Art and here comes Modern Art now to make his big move to the top past the half. Three lengths to Jersey mate not keeping pace. Dr. No on the outside is struggling now fifth on the outside. I'm a fool's trying to track him. And then it's all my life towards the inside. Holborn Hanover near the back with Pacific Renegade and Keystone Endurance. They're on the far turn off a half of 54 and 4. Just a 28 second second quarter. Modern Art cruising on the turn. Here comes a surge from Dr. No. The Catman has Dr. No going well. Now up to challenge in. Apply pressure on Modern Art and I'm a fool. And Pierce worked out a second over, but he's gapping the cover. The spirit of a shark is locked in the box there with times are changing, looking for room on the rail. 123 into the stretch here. And the Catman looking for a huge upset with Dr. No. Game first over. Modern Art trying to battle back on the inside. A good duel to the finish. Spirit of a shark. I'm a fool. Not tonight. Down to the wire. It's Modern Art fighting back on the inside. It's Miller and Modern. Modern Art. Modern Art holds on. Dr. No a game second with Spirit of a shark third. Then it was Holborn Hanover. 150 and two. Modern Art by Arts Place out of Wendy M. Hanover, the 1994 Miss New Jersey winner. Arts Place hiring the New Jersey Classic winner from his first crop, Arturo. The first Arts Place offspring to vault past a million dollars as Modern Art gets closer to that mark here tonight as he kicks off his 2004 season in style. Three for three, 150 and two fifths, equaling his career best. Trainer Joe Holloway won the 1995 New Jersey Classic Final with the great Jenna's Beach Boy. The first New Jersey Classic victory for Dave Miller and the co-owners, Martha and Milton Frank, Ted Gewertz, along with Valdor Farms. Marty Granoff, Modern Art eligible to the $1 million Meadowlands Pace. In the winner's circle, Tom Daltrui, Edward Rossetti, Bob Baggett, Dennis Lane, and Tony Parenti. Standard Bread Breeders and Owners Association of New Jersey. And the winning connections of Modern Art. Number one, Modern Art pays 460, 320, 260, three, Dr. No, 720, 420, and the seven, Spirit of a Shark, 280. One, three, Exacta, 4720. The one, three, seven, Trifecta, $78.20. The Superfecta, one, three, seven, four, $703.80. The pick three of one, seven, and one, 554 dollars Post time for the eighth race, 10.03. In 15 minutes, there are no changes. Tonight's eighth race, the Bleakley Bonanza. Welcome. Take us to the uh, early part of the race here. You had post position one. What do you and Dave Miller discuss about that? 
Well, that's David's job. I mean, uh, if you have to tell the guy what to do, you've hired the wrong guy. But uh, it worked out great. The one was good. We got the push off, be in the spot, wait for the early battle to settle down, and then go. Last couple starts, he wasn't seriously challenged until tonight. What were you thinking top of the stretch when Dr. No made a big move on him? Well, he made a big move. Uh, our horse got a little bit bumpy in the last turn, and I knew David just kind of coasted through there. And uh, the horse eyed him, but our horse is very, very tough, and he fought him off. Last year, you uh, had a great year with the horse, but he wasn't a great trainer. This year, he is a good trainer. Tell us a little bit about that. He had trained down very good. Uh, we haven't trained him now since he started racing. Uh, it's a long year, but uh, he trained down very good. He's a little bit more mature. Some horses uh, mature from two to three, and some of them don't. A lot of Wilson winners uh, kind of go by the wayside. Uh, modern arts go in the other direction. Yeah, we took it really easy with him. I mean, it looks like he had a lot of starts, but he had a break after the Wilson. He came back. Uh, we'd love to win the Breeders' Crown. It didn't work out that way, but uh, he'll have his day. What about the schedule for modern art? What does it look like? Uh, next week's off, and then the North American elimination. Okay, Michael Granoff, you've been in the winner's circle with some big, nice horses before. Die Laughing is the only horse to win the Wilson and the Jersey Classic, and we have a little deja vu here for you. Yeah, it really is interesting that uh, now we've uh, twice made the Wilson uh, Classic uh, tri exact, though we'd now like to make a trifecta with uh, the North American Cup and also the Metal and Space. It's tough nowadays for the three-year-olds to come out and go three out of your first three. Were you expecting anything like this? Well, you know, we had thrown hopes for him. We've had some tough luck with uh, some three-year-olds coming back in the past, but, uh, you know, he was, uh, he reminded me a lot of Die Laughing, and like Joe said, they, uh, he, he took really good care of him and uh, gave him some time off after the Wilson last year instead of going out for the Metro in Canada, and I think that's uh, really what uh, kept him fresh, and uh, so we're pleased with the way he came back, for sure. Managing a horse nowadays is almost as important as the, the bloodline, isn't it? Yeah, and, uh, you know, Joe gets all the credit for picking him out and for training and managing him. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job along with uh, Abraham, his groom. And, of course, you've been there before with Die Laughing, winning the Wilson, but disappointing in the pace. Uh, right now, uh, if you had to pick one in the NA Cup or the pace, which one would it be? Uh, between this one and Die Laughing? No, no, between the North America Cup and the pace for Modern Art. Oh, which one would we rather win? Well, this is our hometown track, but uh, the North American Cup is at my in-laws' hometown track, so it'd be dangerous for me to make a prediction there. <laughs> okay, Valdor Farm, Modern Art, the Arts Place is done at Joe Holloway. Congratulations to Marty and everybody concerned. Modern Art holds on, 150 and two in the half million dollar SBOA Jersey Classic.